Remember when uh, who, who was the front runner at first? At first, it was uh, Giuliani. Giuliani didn't work out. Oh my God, who are we going to go with? Oh well, maybe we'll go with McCain or Romney. But why don't we try to promote this Huckabee guy too? And Huckabee got big time promotion from the establishment. He started hitting the covers of all these magazines that really Ron Paul should have hit. He had the real grassroots support. So they kind of tried to prop Huckabee up as this kind of like grassroots religious you know super guy that's going to come and save the republican party and overshadow ron paul and they continue that i mean they gave him a show on fox for god's sakes we're coming back after this it's the info war with jason vermis triple a two zero one two two four four all right folks we are back it's the info war with jason vermis remember if you miss any of the show you can go to uh, theinfowarrior.com go grab the podcast there's a big button it said podcasts you click on the podcast Takes you to the MP3, you got the whole thing. Um, jump around. You you heard the first hour, you didn't hear the second two. You caught the last fifteen minutes. Go get the podcast, theinfowarrior dot com. Now I know this is the short segment, but I want to play this clip of it. And if we could turn the annotations off on it, because I know the annotations are on on, I could see it right now. Uh, the annotations button is that little corner button there. Uh, this is a clip where, again, the Canadian uh, health services thought they were going to get aid for the quote-unquote swine flu. What did they send? They sent body bags. Body bags. Just unbelievable, folks. All right, here's the clip. It's out of the CBC. Body bags for H1N1 pandemic. Evening. The specter of death from swine flu has become part of Canada's readiness plan. In a stunning development, Health Canada shipped body bags to at least two First Nations communities in Manitoba. The leaders there are shocked by the decision and offended on more than one level. The CBC's Lindsay Duncombe reports from Winnipeg. For months, chiefs from northern Manitoba have been waiting for supplies from Health Canada to help fight the swine flu. They didn't ask for these. We feel rejected. We're abandoned. Uh, as a nice labor community. The chief says body bags, 30 of them, were delivered to Wasagamac, possibly along with antivirals and hand sanitizer. At least two communities in northern Manitoba received body bag shipments, Wasagamac and God's River First Nation. Chiefs in other remote communities hit hard by swine flu in the spring are now going to their nursing stations to see if their communities received body bags. The Grand Chief for the area says it's culturally insensitive. When you prepare death, Obviously, you're inviting death to come to your community because we do not, we do not ever prepare for the, such matters. This is just the latest in a series of conflicts between Manitoba's remote First Nations and Health Canada over swine flu. Chief Harper came to Winnipeg to stock up on hand sanitizer during the outbreak. It was later revealed the government delayed sending the product to First Nations because of its alcohol content and concern people would drink it. Health Canada couldn't say how many communities received body bags, whether or not this is happening across the country or if it's part of the pandemic plan. We asked the province of Manitoba if it happens to be stockpiling body bags for fears of swine flu deaths, it's not. The federal health minister says the shipments are disturbing. She's ordered an immediate investigation. This is a serious issue. Um, it's very concerning to me and once I know more of it I will be able to provide you with information. Both the NDP and the Liberals were quick to criticize. But sending in body bags in the event of death is to say, look, we're not going to be able to help you, our hands are tied. No one was at the Health Canada building in Winnipeg when Chief Jerry Knott got there to return the bags. He left them on the doorstep. Return to Cinder. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Winnipeg. Well, it feels good to see these people stand up and say, you know what, you can have your body bags back. But at the same time, it's almost like they're being tricked into believing it will be good to take the shot because the shot is going to stop them from dying. No, you take the shot, you take the nasal spray, you might end up in one of those bags. All right, let's try it with Forrest in West Virginia one more time. Forrest, go ahead. Hey, Jason. Hey, yeah, you sound well, a lot better here. Yeah, well, me and my uncle... And uh, a neighbor, we were out at a bee yard getting honey. And we were having a conversation in the truck about cap and trade. And I was talking about how it's the biggest tax in, in history and how it's about eugenics. And then uh, the, uh, the, guy, the, the guy working for us, he, uh, he was saying, you know what? Nobody gives a damn about that. 
You, I bet you like nine out of ten people just don't give a damn. You could be walking down the street and see a guy pleasuring himself. I'm not making this G rated. And he was saying, and, and, and ain't nobody going to care about it. So it got me thinking, well, yeah, there are a lot of people who, who don't care about this stuff. But when we go rapport with people and learn about what they're into and then talk to them about it, and then we let them know that what they're into, their hobbies, might, might be at stake of, of not, not being around anymore because of the New World Order plan for America. I think that'll like open up some, some hearts and minds. To, like, well, I agree with you there 100%, there. man. I mean, again, if you can build a bridge, if you can find some common ground with somebody and you can make them realize how dire this is. I mean, I'm going to put it point blank for people, all right? I do this because the information that I have found shows me that the elite out there want a one-world government with a slaved chip population. And, oh, by the way, a lot of them are occultic pedophiles. Yeah, that's why I fight against this. And I can't just come up to somebody and say that. We've got to build a report. We can find some common ground. And eventually I can drop some of that knowledge. And hopefully they can take action as well. I thank you for the call. We're going to keep taking your calls. 888 201